Hey guys, welcome out to beautiful, beautiful Douglasville. Got a great renovation for you. Um, I know a lot of our clients, a lot of our followers are asking, you know, is there anything affordable in this market? So we're always trying to find something. It's really, really hard to find things in the twos right now, especially something like this that has been completely gut renovated. Um, it's priced at 268.5. Uh, just ran some calculations just using my mortgage calculator. I think around with like 5% down, um, you're probably looking at a payment somewhere around $1,400 um, with interest rates being around 2.75, 2.99 right now. So I think it's a really, really good deal for you. Um, you know, it's very, very hard to find anything in greater Atlanta, even to rent for a three bedroom, two bath. Never mind you know, a house. Um, so I think it's a great opportunity to get you in the door to home ownership. Uh, what I like about this location is you have two major kind of arteries um, to get to a lot of shopping and restaurants, to do back roads to downtown Atlanta. Um, it's kind of um, sandwiched in between Douglasville and Lithia Springs, but on Douglasville line. So put you in good proximity to everything. Uh, what I particularly like about this lot, if you guys can see, I'll zoom in a little bit, but they have a brand new park right next door, um, which is great. You know, if you have kids, if you want to do, think about doing your morning walks or anything like this. They had this like sidewalk with like a track type of thing around there, picnic tables. Um, you can bring your grill out there. As you can see, it's a kind of a carriage house, bungalow style. So it gives you great, great curb appeal. Um, and you have some nice parking here too. You probably can fit, I would say one, two, three, four, five cars, and then some street parking if you want to as well. But this, um, renovation looks like they didn't really spare, um, any expenses in. You could see the materials. This is like a Trex material, which is, you never have to stain like you do wood. Um, great front porch. A great area to do, um, you know, a swing set. I mean, a swing set, uh, a swing bed, rocking chairs, things like that. In your view, like you don't have a house like directly across the street from you. Kind of more historic homes. The house next door. So let's go in and take a look. I think you'll really, really be impressed. It's about 1,300 square feet. So it's not gonna be for that person that's looking for this gigantic mansion. It's for the person that's maybe a first time home buyer, uh, maybe an older person that is looking to downsize, maybe uh, a young couple that doesn't have kids yet, or maybe just plans to have one. Um, it has some great, what they call luxury vinyl planks, Revwood, stone core, just depends on the brand. But as you can see, it's. They removed the popcorn ceiling, which you normally see on an older house like this. Uh, when it, I'd, I'd expect this house probably was in the, at least probably in the mid 1900s. Um, and so anybody that kind of doesn't want the cookie cutter, wants the, the charm, but yet the modern uh, fixtures and stuff like that, I think this will be a great opportunity for you. As you can see, it's got the nice wall of windows here. Um, so most likely you're probably going to put like your couch, I would say against this wall right here, you know, put your flat screen TV over here. You still have this window and you still have this kind of other area where you could do a build out. You can do, um, you could even do like a dry bar. You can do an accent wall, air shelves, um, or treat it more like a foyer area, console table, mirror, artwork, stuff like that. You can see they used the, kept a lot of the original trim and just updated it, which is really nice. You have your coat closet right here, as you can see. And then you have your first bedroom, it's three bedroom, two bath. See, nice ceiling fan in here. But again, probably most likely where I'm standing, I'd probably put my bed, you know, TV either on the wall here or on this wall. Um, you have different flexibility, you know, um, how you want to do it. You also have a outlet on this wall, so the flat screen can be there. Closet, 
they added these too. This is a nice, you know, system that they added. I've seen a lot of renovations. We've been looking at a lot for ourselves, for our clients and stuff like that. And, you know, sometimes you see kind of a shoddy job. Some, you could definitely tell who really, really cares about uh, when they're doing these kind of investor owned or flip type of properties and um, just walking it, you know, um, like I said, a lot of them will keep the popcorn ceiling or anything like that. They, that, it's a pretty big expense and they didn't really, um, you know, jip anybody on that. Here is the, the hall. I like that they added those lights. Here's the first bathroom, first of two. You can see it, I then kept the kind of charm of this bungalow style, but completely renovated it with um, the nice subway tile. I like the accented gray that they added here, the new faucets and shower heads. Again, giving it that modern farmhouse uh, bungalow style, this really cool sink with cabinet toilet your view from you know up here i mean how nice would it be again if you have a young child if it's just you if it's you and your spouse a boyfriend girlfriend whatever the case may be i mean to sip coffee on that front porch take your morning walk right around the little park if you have a kid go play in the park i mean it really really is a nice setting this is a total gut renovation here for the kitchen, as you can see, and they did a really, really nice job. All you need is a refrigerator. They have a nice uh, five burner electric cooktop stove combo, um, dishwasher, big farmer sink. Again, when you're washing dishes, this is your view. These beautiful kind of brownish gray um, cabinets, which I really, really like. It. Um, you see so much white and gray, which is a nice color scheme, but I kind of like, again, for this house, this type of flooring. Um, then you could accent it with, um, you know, white, um, I want to say white appliances because you want to keep the stainless steel, but just little accent pieces for your shop, uh, sugar, flour, little canisters, maybe even a white Keurig would look really nice in here too, just to give it that little pop. This is the area for your microwave, but look at they actually added a lot of cabinetry so that you have it for your pantry. You have plenty of space here, more cabinets. You could again put your Keurig. You, um, they thought of everything. This is a great area right here for a desk. So if you work from home, if you have, again, a kid, you want to do their homework, they thought of everything, you know, because it's a smaller 1300 square foot home. The advantage of it, it's a nice, really nice lot, as you can see, right next to a park. But for heating and air and maintenance and yard work and stuff like that, people don't think about that outside of just being able to afford, you know, possibly like a $1,400 payment, maybe less, depending on how much money you put down. Of course, if you put 20% down, you're probably looking closer to like $1,000 a month um, to get a three bedroom, two bath, which really kind of is uh, not technically a new home but for all intents and pur purposes it's a gut renovation um you know those those monthly bills as far as electric um is going to save you a ton of money this is the master bedroom and again for the older home really nice size i think personally um you could put your bed on, on this wall or this wall i probably would put it right here my flat screen tv low dresser Create a nice little sitting area over here. You still have another wall to work with if you want to do a little console table. You have an outlet there for a lamp or a dress up. A, dre a stand up dresser would also look really nice. A walk in closet. You have a little inlet here, which would be great for you know shoes and stuff like that. But again, for the age of the house, they really this you know this is helpful. This is. Something that's like totally moving already. All you need is basically your washer and dryer and refrigerator. Master bath. Look at this. How beautiful. Look at the tile work that they used. The beautiful um, shower basin. And then you have the double vanity sinks. Usually in bathrooms like this, older homes, they would never be able to fit two sinks in here. So it is. It's couple ready. You know, if, you, um, if you're a couple. Toilet. Again... These windows are great. They kept the original, the wood ones. Um, 
but painted them look really, really good. All you need is blinds. We have a great uh, vendor that does blinds as well. She's awesome. Helps a lot of our clients. Bedroom number three is over here. Again, really nice size. Um, personally, I probably put my bed, you know, right here. Again, TV over here. You still got a plenty of room if you ever wanted to add like a little corner desk. That'd be perfect. See the neighbor's home. Seems like everybody for a non HOA community because it's just off of the main um, street area. Not a main street, it's actually a side road. Um, everybody's maintaining their yard really nice. Good closet for a secondary bedroom. This is your formal kitchenette slash dining room. You dress it up really nice. Pretty nice space. Like I said, opposite of the cabinets. Right there. Here's your washroom. Again, they, they could have put a wire rack. These are the little extra things that I really appreciate. And it does have look like it has a gas line if you ever need to access that. So you probably put, um, you know, your this is for your dryer right here. And um, you probably put your washing machine right here because you have your water one. And then if you don't do gas, you just do electric. You know, how about an ironing board that will come out right here? You know, and you're here and you're ironing all your clothes. Great use of space. Here is a closet where your water heater is um, and furnace. So when you change your air filter, you don't have to go up into an attic. An attic, if you wanted to add, you know, air shelves here for additional storage space. Obviously, they left, put some leftover paint in here. And I love, again, they could have kept like an accordion type of door, but they modernized it, right? Just like that. All right, let's go out back. And I think this is one of my favorite parts of the house. Again, can you imagine being, you know, payment 1300s, 1400s, something like that. And you had this beautiful wood deck. Again, they could have just kept it concrete or not added this. And here's the park. I mean, again, imagine it's already fenced in, you know, has the chain link fence. So if you have a dog, if you have kids, um, you know, you want to keep them in the yard. The neighbor um, looks like they have a, a wood fence. So all they did was connect the chain link to it. Looks like if it's not new, it's a newer AC unit. Beautiful curb appeal. And you have a little shed back here. See, even this they added here. And then they seeded it. Whenever you see this hay, that's when you seed grass. You let it come in, then you start treating it. A little shed. So if you um, want a little craft house, if you want to put your lawnmower back here, and, I mean, just look at it. Imagine what you can do. Imagine, like, the setting that you can create a fire pit. If you wanted to ever put a pool in here, you definitely can. Um, because look how spacious it is. And then, again, you have this beautiful park right across to the left of your property. And you got some nice other kind of ranch style, bungalow styles over there. So... If you guys are interested, again, we are working really, really hard for, me, for you. Whether you're a luxury home buyer, looking to build uh, from the ground up, we're trying our hardest to find you guys some of the best deals here in greater Atlanta. And uh, wanted to bring you something I think that would be affordable to you, that can close quickly and give you a great place to just get in the real estate game at a comfortable payment. And... Um, and you have grocery stores and uh, restaurants all within a five minute radius. And Expressway is probably only about six or seven minutes down as well. So if you're interested guys, jump on it and we'll talk to you soon.